Hey guys, this is Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com where we got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and anything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. So today we're going to be touching on a topic that's near and dear to my heart, and that is, is a calorie a calorie? Are all calories created equal? Uh, the reason I'm talking about this subject is because a lot of people out there are following either the flex dieting approach or the if it fits your macros approach to dieting and those approaches allow you to eat quote unquote junk calories. I'm going to focus a little more specifically on if it fits your macros because in essence what they're saying out there and what some people are questioning me about is if it fits my macros I can eat as much junk food as I want. So let's backtrack for a second in case you don't know uh, what the if it fits your macros approach to dieting actually is. Well, it's pretty much setting a caloric intake. So let's say you have 1800 calories, you're going to hit 60% of those calories from carbs, you're going to intake 30% of those calories, let's say from proteins, and then you're going to have 10% of those calories from fats. Now, if it fits your macro says, you can either have healthy food or junk food. It doesn't matter where you get your calories from as long as you're hitting those numbers and that calorie intake. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but the truth is, uh, as we've discussed in previous videos, there's things out there, metabolic issues, metabolic damage, where some people can actually lose weight by eating healthier calories and more of them than eating junk food and less of it. So yeah, even though they're eating less calories via junk food, they're not losing weight and then they turn and start eating healthy. They might be able to increase their caloric intake and start losing weight again. So that right there proves that a calorie is not a calorie. All calories are not created equal. But another issue with if it fits your macros that pretty much points to the fact that all calories aren't created equal is that anywhere that is suggesting that or anyone that is suggesting for another person to follow the if it fits your macros approach to dieting should be telling that person that they're suggesting it to that you need to adjust your numbers accordingly. So if you're using a calculator from a website or if somebody's provided numbers to get you going with the if it fits your macros approach to dieting, um, then you need to know, and if they didn't tell you this, then they don't know what they're talking about, that you have to use those numbers, those initial numbers as a guideline. So if it is 60% of your total calories from carbs, and it is 30% of your total calories from protein, and 10% from fats. That is a guideline that you need to check every couple of weeks, four weeks at most, to see if it's working. And then they should tell you that you should adjust those numbers accordingly if you're not losing the weight or gaining the lean muscle that you want to do. So if you're not hitting your goal with those uh, micronutrients numbers, then you need to adjust accordingly. That right there is indicative of the fact that not all calories are created equal. For example, a calorie from a candy bar is not going to fill you up as long as a calorie from vegetables that include the fiber and the other nutrients that come with it, right? A calorie from a candy bar is not going to fill you up as much as a calorie from uh, healthy fats. It's just not. Fats fill you up longer. Vegetables tend to fill you up longer. Healthier foods typically have less calories and you can eat more of them. And anyways, if you ate the same amount of calories, you'd be eating more healthy food than candy bars, for example. So there'd be more food in your stomach, even though the calorie, the caloric intake is the same. But that pushed aside. A calorie from sugar is going to raise your insulin levels much more than if you would have just had that same caloric intake from fats, proteins, or vegetables, things low in carbs. As a matter of fact, some people consider carbs junk food. We'll talk about that later, but why? Well, because carbs, in essence, are sugar, okay? So we know out there, right, there's things known as simple carbs and complex carbs. Well, a simple carb is something like the sugar in a candy bar, 
which you utilize quickly. Your body, it's, all, it's almost ready to go instant energy, right? And that's why when you eat a candy bar, you might get a spike in energy and then it sort of tapers down uh, you know, within the hour and the next couple of hours. But if you had a complex carb, that is going to take longer for your body to digest. So your insulin level might rise, but it stays constant longer than if you just had a simple carb, which your body uses and then needs more of. Complex carbs, the body uses and it lo takes longer to break down. So it's more of a steady state of energy that you're pulling from the complex carb. So right there, right? Carbs being sugar. Not all sugars are created equal. Therefore, not all calories from sugars are created equal and not all calories are created equal. The way our body uses certain types of calories is completely different and how that translates into you feeling more full and you feeling more energetic throughout the day and not having these energy crises going on daily. Um, it's different based off of the food that you're intaking, based off of the calories that we're eating. So that's it for now. Let me know if you got any questions or comments down below. This is Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. That's x dash, the uh, symbol, not the word dash gains.com. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Peace.